Schönen Abend wünsche ich Ihnen allen. Ich freue mich sehr, dass Sie heute Abend ins Tanzquartier gefunden haben. Es gibt viele besondere Abende hier im Tanzquartier. Heute ist wieder einer davon und ich freue mich sehr, dass Sie den heutigen Abend gewählt haben, hier vorbeizuschauen. Der besseren Verständlichkeit für alle Beteiligten willen werde ich Sie jetzt weiterhin auf Englisch begrüßen und ich werde ein paar Worte zum heutigen Abend sagen und vor allem unsere Gäste begrüßen. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that I'm very honored to welcome Helen Sixu, one of the most important feminist philosophers 
and literary scholars, as well as authors of novels here at Tanzquartier Wien. And I would also warmly welcome the musician and singer Isabel Dutois and the translator Claudia Sima, as well as our colleagues who have made this evening possible, uh, colleagues like Peter Engelmann, the head of Passage Verlag and editor of key German postmodern and deconstructionist texts by Helen Sixou and other important thinkers. Esther Hutfles, Gertrude Postel and Elisabeth Schäfer, the editors of the 2013 published book, uh, Helen Sixou, Das Lachen der Medusa, The Laughter of the Medusa at Passagen Verlag. And of course, thank you for the collaboration, which is furthermore uh, supported by the MA7, it's not the MA, uh, MI5, it's the MA7, the Cultural Department of the City of Vienna, and the Gerda Weiler Stiftung. So Tanzquartier, since its beginning, is engaged in the intersections of practice and theory, trying to overcome conventional comparison of body and text. And this is the key in Helen Sixou's writing, which juxtaposes and intertwines poetry, musicality, philosophical statement, and the feminist political. A writing in which text becomes physical and the body expresses itself in writing. So I would like to hand over now to Gertrude Postel, who will guide you through the evening. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm going to be the moderator, or whatever you want to call that for this evening. Uh, some of the things I was planning to say have been just said already, so I can cut that short. Uh, just for your uh, orientation, yes, this uh, evening is going to be conducted in English, uh, apart from part one, uh, which will be in parts translated. Uh, we will have, uh, first of all, yes, uh, to this event itself, it uh, has been put together in cooperation with Passagen Verlag, and we are very grateful for that. Passagen Verlag also contributed to the uh, reception that will take place uh, after the final, after the official program. Uh, so this was a common enterprise, so to speak. Uh, the other things have been expressed already. As to the uh, development of this evening, we will have three parts. The first part is going to be a conversation between Peter Engelmann from Passagen and Elaine Sixou. That is going to be in German and Claudia Simmer will uh, translate uh, where necessary. From then on it will be in English. The second part is going to be an improvisational uh, interaction between Isabelle de Tour and Hélène Sixou, where Hélène Sixou is going to read uh, from two texts, uh, one section in English from Philippine and another section in uh, French from the uh, preface to the new edition of The Life of the Medusa, and uh, Isabelle will <laughs> make something out of that at the same time. And part three will be a conversation between the editors of the uh, book, between Claudia Simmer, uh, Isabel, and of course Elaine Sixou. So that's just so you know uh, what is going to happen. I would like to say a few things how all this came together. So we, meaning, where's Elizabeth now? Elizabeth Schaefer, Esther Hutfles, and myself, uh, put together this book on a very, very famous text, The Life of the Medusa, by a very, very famous author, Hélène Sixou. Uh, it just so happened that this text had never been translated into German. And so that was our hinge. We thought, it's about time. After more than 20 years, it is time that the text is going to be translated into English, into German. And we uh, were very grateful to uh, have it published by Passagen because of the long history of Passagen with contemporary French philosophy. So this was important for us, and thank you very much. Uh, while we were putting together the book, 
we were having these fantasies between us. Like, wouldn't it be nice if we could get the Lansing Zoo to Vienna? Wouldn't it be nice? Okay, so when okay, the fantasies became reality, and here she is tonight. So I think this is. <laughs> Elensiksu does not need an introduction and a few things you have heard about her already. So just to add a few further things. Uh, yes, she is one of the most important contemporary uh, living French philosophers, authors and playwrights. Uh, she's also a professor at the Collège de la Philosophie of University Paris 8. Uh, she's probably most known for her contribution to gender theory in particular for the notion of uh, écriture féminine, which will be addressed later in part three of our discussion tonight. Uh, but uh, she also obviously worked on the intersection of uh, language and the body, the body and the text. She, uh, and all that on top or, or in a part from her contributions to